Hi all friends, this is Harsha with the new Python programming tutorial friends. So this tutorial is about logical operators in Python. Before friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want more programming tutorials like this, please click subscribe button and get the notification of all the programming tutorials that I upload. Thank you. Hello friends, hope all are fine and uh, let us start with the tutorial. So this tutorial is about logical operators in Python. I hope uh, whoever uh, studied uh, the digital electronics in the computer field, this uh, tutorial is easy for them. I am going to start up with the logical operators now. So friends, if you ask what is logical operators, logical operators is a type of operator. So in which uh, it combines the boolean expression and it will give one uh, boolean result such as true or false means boolean expression means here in previous tutorial we learnt about what are all comparison operators and uh, what are the types of comparison operator so if we combine the two or more comparison operators uh, means uh, we, we if we combine two or more comparison expression such as uh, a less b and a greater b like that it will provide one true or false boolean result why we need this uh, operator now friends if in some cases we want to uh, evaluate more than one conditions such as uh, for example in india such as uh, if a child is greater than or equal to 6 and if a child is lesser than or equal to 14 is uh, eligible for for free education like that we want to take input of age from the user and we want to evaluate like that and we want to print useful message to the user he is eligible for eligible for free education or not like that for those kind of uh, evaluation friends we use the logical operators so it involves it involved two comparison operator that is uh, age lesser age greater than or equal to 6 is one comparison operator and age lesser than or equal to 14 is another comparison operator if we combine the two comparison operator friends with a logical type of logical type of operator it will give the result as true or false also we can store the result in one variable and in future we can uh, what print the useful message to the user so when when we come to conditional execution i will uh, go through the meaning meaningful programs uh, by using these uh, what comparison operators and logical operators for now please concentrate on the types of comparison or types of logical operators that i teach and what it give the result so please be thorough with that the first uh, logical operator is friends it is called as and a and d and in python it is represented as and symbol ampersand symbol that is shift plus seven and uh, we can also represent represent and operator as a and d in the word also we can represent so and is also a keyword so a keyword means a uh, friends uh, it's a reserved word in python which which have several meanings like uh, if in a language uh, consider in a human language if i say somebody to go so it's a go is a keyword for moving from here so like that a keyword in python have uh, what reserved meaning and uh, it's a reserved word and it has some meaning and it performs useful actions for us so like that and is a keyword in python a and d and is a keyword in python that helps us to evaluate the logical and operator so let us see the let us see one example friends so i am opening the what uh, python interpreter now run dialog type the name of a program comma folder comma document comma or p y t a o n text c colon backslash users backslash rsh hd backslash app data backslash local backslash programs backslash python backslash python 38 dash friends i opened the python interpreter then friends uh, i want to evaluate like uh, as told uh, I want to assign a variable means assign a value to a variable such as a g e equals one three greater 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 I assigned the value of 13 to age 
so i kept a variable age and i want to evaluate the condition now as i told p r i n t left parent i'm printing age e e less less age greater than or equals equal to 6 6 and space a n d space so i typed a n d word and a g e age lesser than or equal to less equals 1 4 close the parenthesis of print function right there so let we see friends what it prints now true greater 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 so it is true now so i will reassign the uh, what uh, value for age variable now a g e equals 1 6 greater 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 so we'll print the same statement p r i n t left parent a g e less less greater equals 6 space greater equal 6 means it is uh, it may be uh, the age may be either 6 or either greater than 6 6 so what i typed is friends print open the parenthesis age greater than or equal to 6 and age less than or equal to 14 close the parenthesis i will type enter now false greater 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 so it printed as false because it's uh, the age is 16 and it, it it is not less than what less than or equal to 14 the greater than or equal to 6 the condition the expression what uh, we gave the comparison expression that will become true age less than or equal to 14 it will become false in this case the first uh, first uh, comparison became true and second comparison became false so true and false is false like that there are uh, what four uh, four comparison results in and operator so those are true and true will become true result and true and false will become false result and false and true will be become false and false and false result will become false except true and true all result will false here the comparison became true and false so uh, in standard what uh, and operator the true and false result will be false that's why it printed as false so friends the next operator is or operator or operator what it does is if one of the what comparison is true it will become true for example uh, in in this case only age lesser than or equal to 14 and age greater than or equal to 6 so if we evaluate that condition uh, if the age uh, input is 16 and if we evaluate the if we evaluate that condition it will become true because the age greater than or, or equal to 6 comparison has become true in this case so let us uh, uh, show you how to represent represent the or operator friends or operator can be used uh, represented using a keyword called as or or in python so let us see the example friends uh, i already stored a value in a variable called age uh, so let us uh, try with that uh, variable by doing uh, or operation r a t e left there a d e greater equals 6 space r space a g e less equal 4 right there so i typed as print open the parenthesis age greater or than or equal to 6 or or age less than or equal to 14 so i close the parenthesis then i am pressing enter now true greater 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 so it printed as true why because the age greater than or is equal to 6 condition will become true and age less than or equal to 14 condition will become false
because age is in a what uh, storing the value called as 16 now p r f e left a e right 16 greater so like this friends in op or operator there are uh, four uh, criteria true and true comparison will become true fall true and false comparison will become true false and true comparison will become true false and false comparison will become false so like this or operator can be represented in python friends friends so next let us go to the uh, next type of uh, logical operators operator called as not operator in not logical operator friends uh, there is one only one uh, boolean expression uh, what are all we saw in and and or there are two bo boolean expression to evaluate and return the result so in not operator it's not like that we have o we we should have only one boolean expression most of the countries like uh, so the majority here for working or uh, for voting or anything like so for all the things is 18 and above so for example friends i will initialize now reinitialize the age variable a t e equals one seven greater 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 so i in, in, reinitialize the age variable to 17 and then i said i we need one boolean expression i will store the water uh, boolean uh, water comparison in uh, one variable i will type the variable name as major is equal to age greater than or equal to 18 age greater than or equal to 18 so major is equal to age greater greater than or equal to 18 so now what not operator does is so uh, if you print the major uh, variable now it will print p r r i i n t left parent a a j a a j o r right parent false greater greater so it printed as false because age is equal to 17 what not operator does is it reverses p r i n t left parent f o t space not a j o r right parent true greater 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 so like that it will reverse the what uh, boolean result means if the boolean result is true it will result as false and if the boolean result is false it will it will return the result true so for example i will reinitialize the age a g e equals 2 5 greater 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 so age is equal to 25 so now i will uh, store the same condition in uh, uh, store the same comparison in major variable a h o r equals Major is equal to A G E greater greater than is equal to age greater than it or equal to one eight one eight greater greater greater. So then I'll print P R I N T left A H O R right parent true greater. So it printed as true now. So if I include not operator in this P R I N T left parent of space not space A H O R right parent false greater greater. So it will reverses the result. So like this, not operator works, friends. So there is one more last operator, uh, last uh, logical operator in Python friends that is logical XOR operator, XOR, logical XOR operator. It requires like two comparisons like AND operator and OR operator. So depending upon the two or more comparison, it will give the result. For example, if I print R I N T nine nine left parent print T R U E. So for logical XOR friends, we will inc include the symbol called as caret. Uh, that is shift plus six. Caret. And T R E E U E. True. Caret symbol. True. Right there. So let us see the result now. False. Greater. Greater. Gre it printed as false. Then friends. Uh, in the logical XOR, how the computation does is true and true will become false. False and false will become false. Then true and false will become true and false and true will become true. So I will repeat once more uh, friends. Both true and true and false and false will result in false. And true and false or false or true will re result in true. So that is about all about the XOR uh, logical XOR operator friends. So friends in this tutorial we learned 
all about logical operators such as logical and logical or logical not and logical xor in the next tutorials we can look towards the conditional programming means uh, conditional execution of a program so until then bye for all of you friends take care